Hey, what's up everybody? So I want to get this a quick video out. So there's been a recent update on a demo shooter. So we're at version 12.8. The last version 12.7 enabled us to play uh, Point Blank X as a standalone, but it had issues. Uh, one issue was just the aim not being correct on an image that wasn't 16 by 9. The other one is uh, you couldn't change the screen, so it was just stuck at a 780 or 720 resolution, which was annoying. So uh, no more need for hot fixes on that or anything else. Demol uh, Shooter uh, V12.8 fixed that. So we have uh, the fixes right here for screen resolution with plug-in. And we have uh, the uh, 16 by 9 fix on the aim. So anyways, I want to run through real quick. I want to show you where to download it. I want to show you where to install it. And how to set the resolution to the size that you need. So uh, bear with me and let's continue. Alright, so you go to the website. GitHub.com. Argon Lefoy. I know I said that wrong. I apologize, Argon. Of a demo shooter release, you can just Google search it and it'll come to the screen right here. You're going to want the 12.8 uh, zip. Download it. It takes like half a second to download. All right, then uh, once it's done downloading, you're going to go to whatever front end you're running. Um, I use a launch box in all of my tutorials, so we're going to come to this. And uh, you're just going to open up the location of your demo shooter. So I actually keep mine in my tools right here so opened up your demo shooter and we're just going to override all these files now if you've never done this before demo shooter natively does not come with the configuration file so the good thing on that is whenever we override these files you do not need to redo your gun mapping or show demo which one is your pid number you don't have to do anything all right, so we're going to open up our file. Comes to your downloads. Demo shooter of V12.8. And we're just going to copy and paste. So I'm going to put this to the side over here. Pull up my demo shooter. So I'm going to drag all these. Drop them in. It's going to ask if you want to override them. Replace all the files in destination. And we're going to replace everything except the configuration file. So we don't need to set up our guns again for this. Now we're going to go to our Unity folder. You're going to open up Point Blank and we're going to move all these files into your Point Blank game. All right, so just go ahead and copy all these files. Just right click, copy. Go to the location of your Point Blank X game. Now, this is for the standalone. I'm sure you techno people probably already have this figured out. So this is a standalone, I should say. It's the wrong one. All right, so now we're going to right click and just paste it right here in the root of your point blank. Should be 26 files, so it's all going to drop. Okay, now the uh, files that you're going to need to go to. Now, this is going to be for the resolution fix. You're going to go to your uh, Bellpin EX. You're going to go to the plugins. And you're going to right click on the plugin and open up with one of your uh, text files. You can use Notebook or Notepad. I'm just going to use Notepad because it's right here. It doesn't really matter what you use. Now, by default, it's at a 1280 by. 720, so you just set it whatever you want. I keep mine at a 1920 by 1080. You can just whatever resolution you normally run, just set it to that. And of course, your full screen. So, of course, one full screen, zero is a window. Okay, we're done with that. Just go ahead and go to file, hit save. And my friends, that is it. Now we can start the game up and it's going to launch into. Uh, the resolution that I set it to. It's going to exit out, start the game. All right, and we're here. And that is it. 
Oh, and also, if you're running the uh, reshade and you did the uh, fix I did, I want to show you something. <clears throat> with your uh, other options, you can also play with these other ones. Uh, the ones I like to add on as well is Technicolor 2 and HDR. Since this game is meant just to be played bright and colorful anyways, you can actually increase the brightness on some of these, like give it more color. So I go HDR, give it a bit more color, and then I can take the color too, and it's even brighter. So just want to show that off for you. And that's how I play this. You know, it just really makes the game pop out a whole lot more. But anyways, that's just something y'all can play with. Um, anyways, thanks for watching.